Okay. Hey guys, if you have been following my blog at WGS4.com, then you have probably read my last blog where I talked about guitar picks. Um, I'm going to use my, my old uh, Martin D28 here, and I am going to do a little comparison of picks. I'll try to run through as fast as I can, but I promise you, it ain't going to be real short. So get ready to you know sit in here for five or ten minutes or so if you want to sit through this whole thing. And we are in the level of nuances. I've, I've used uh, these Audex SCX25s that I'm using, by the way, uh, for me are really good guitar mics. Um, they're going just through a night... Uh, pro preamp and then straight to the video recorder so there is no EQ involved. I actually do have a little bit of limiting to keep me from uh, overloading the tape deck. That's it. Um, so it's just basically a uh, straight wire on a mic. Um, so I tell you what, uh, let's not go, oh and they are panned hard left and right by the way just in case this, this particular mic is on one side. This particular mic is on the other side. So there you go. And let's go real quick with the old Fender Medium. This was my standby pick for many years. And I'm just going to do a few like big open G chords and stuff like that where you can really hear the sound uh, of the pick. Okay. Hey, here's what's left of that, uh, that old Diodario pick that I love so much on acoustic. It's half a pick, but listen to this. I'm going to switch from it to the Fender real quick. The Diodario's got a really neat little action to it, doesn't it? Uh, this, by the way, is the new Martin Light Gauge uh, celluloid pick, and it sounds very similar uh, to that Diodario. Planet Waves pick is the pick that uh, they told me is supposed to be made of the same stuff as the Diodario. It's not. I don't know if you can hear that. It's it's duller. It's stiffer. It doesn't feel as good. Mm. Okay. Hey, here is a pick that actually works pretty good and I have used a lot. And this is a Dunlop uh, Altex pick. They, they, they feel a little different. They feel a little more like plexiglass in the hand. But they actually sound pretty good and have a pretty good pick action. Okay, um, I'm going to do a couple of the Stranger picks now. Here is one of these V picks. This is the V pick medium, and I'm going to tell you, even though they call it a medium, this sucker is huge. It is, I don't know what that is, like a sixteenth of an inch thick. It is a mom. It's got real beveled edges. It's It's different. <laughs> probably noticed it sounded like I was playing with a quarter. Um, here's the other one of those weird picks. This is that Stone Mind pick that I bought back in about 1980. Yeah, okay. And that sounds and feels like I'm playing with a rock. Mm -hmm. um, hey, one last kind of weird pick uh, is this. <laughs> I've played with it about four chords and it's already worn down but it's this wheat wears wheat pick just for the fun of it if you want to hear what it sounds like i'm going to start with uh with the cf martin uh celluloid pick and then go to it yeah no highs at all okay so um i tell you what I will play for you then. So out of that whole bunch, this this uh, CF Martin, uh, it's a modern pick. Just just bought it, a celluloid uh, composition pick. It's light gauge, is my favorite. But here's that pick that I wrote so lovingly about on my blog, and this is in fact the uh, the fins pick by Jim Dunlop. It is a fairly light gauge. It's hard to read on the thing. I don't know what it is. It feels pretty light. I think it says 65 millimeters. Um, so it is not quite as thin as the actual thin celluloid pick, but it actually feels very much about the same in the hand. It's got the same kind of pick action. And honestly, it feels great to me. I'm going to go from, uh, from the Martin to the fins pick here, okay? 
Are you ready? Again, we are definitely splitting hairs here, but to me, that's just a little bit more open, a little more airy sounding on the top end, and it's also just a little bit firmer and better sounding on the bottom end. I'll compare them both a little bit more here, uh, starting with the Martin. The fins. Feels awesome. See, that's what's so awesome about this pick. It makes you just want to keep playing and not stop. Um, so there you go. Uh, I promised you that you would hear a little bit of those picks that I talked about so lovingly on the blog. Um, and there you have it. As far as I'm concerned, for my money, and you know the truth is this pick was given to me. I haven't bought one yet, so I don't know how much money we're talking. But whatever it is, for my money, this Finn's pick right here, I'm trying to read. I th Actually, I think it's his 55 millimeters, which is pretty thin. Um, but I don't know, this is, this is not made of the same type of nylon as, you know, the original Jim Dunlop nylon picks are. It's, it's a little different. It's brighter sounding. Well, here. See what I mean? So there you have it. Um, that's all for now, and I promise I'll be back.